Hi all, it's Jason here, local tech experts, with uh, another video for you. I've got to apologise, I haven't done one in a long time, but it's not because I haven't uh, been building, it's just because I haven't had anything interesting to show you guys. But from the thumbnail, you probably notice that uh, I've got a stack of X mining cards here. Um, bought them relatively cheap, I guess, but uh, they're RX 580s. Um, these are quite old now, and um, I used to I used to mine on these myself um, back when you could mine mine on them. Um, so I've got 15 of these RX 570s, RX 580s. Um, yeah, so they're a mix of 570s and 580s, um, plus a few extras. Um, I'm probably not going to deal with these ones right now. Um, these black ones I'm not going to deal with, that's a 1080. Um, but uh, I'm just going to deal with these data land ones here. Um, going to see, see how they turn out. Uh, I've got a bit of a process for cleaning them. Um, I've sort of started testing them. So out of all these 15 here, absolutely none of them show a display. Um, a few of them show um, let the machine boot up. All of them don't show a display. So I'm going to put some charts up on screen, um, show you my process and the progress in, in if I can get any of these to work, basically. Um, so I'm going to clean them, clean them up and, and uh, get them in some kind of working order. Uh, so usually, obviously, mining cards, they have a hard life, so you've got to really spend a lot of time and um, get them get them clean and in a working sort of state but uh, see how we go with this all right thanks guys so here's the cleaning materials uh, so I've got some um, microfiber cloths there a toothbrush soft bristle some uh, contact cleaner here um, some cleaning vinegar um, some isopropyl alcohol uh, some sandpaper some thermal paste, um, need quite a lot of that. Um, and I've got some uh, grease here for the fans. Um, I don't end up using that, I use WD-40 because I couldn't get grease in there, but that's pretty much pretty much uh, what I need. Yeah, so this is the disassembly portion. Um, I do one card here, but uh, when I do the rest of them, I did them pretty much all at once. So, um, But you can see they're pretty filthy. Um, takes a lot of work to get these these clean yep so a bit of uh, the vinegar there and uh, sand off the back plates um, they got a bit of uh, oxidization on them so get rid of that and then uh, with the with the toothbrush um, just get off some of the hard the hard uh, dust and grime that's on there first um, with the others I actually soaked them um, overnight in vinegar just to make it a bit easier um, with the microfiber cloth just go over and gently gently pat it down um, and then uh, cotton wool buds to get into some of the harder to reach areas more cleaning vinegar across the, the heat sink there um, and then the, finally the shroud and the back plate and stuff like that. The shroud um, has the fans on it and stuff so it's kind of hard to hard to get into the nooks and crannies of that but just take your time with it and um, do each fan blade and just get it as clean as you can basically. Um, at this point I'd uh, get some grease or Grease is best, but I have to use WD-40 up into the uh, into the fans there, and then I leave the leave it to soak. So not quite finished with the cleaning yet. Now after it's soaked for a little while, um, get some sandpaper across it again. Um, get into all the HDMI ports and stuff like that for the sandpaper, um, just lightly. You don't want to strip it too much, but um, just get them clean. Uh, more microfiber cloth and just patting it down. Now completely soak it in isopropyl alcohol because the vinegar leaves a residue when it dries so you want to get the isopropyl alcohol all over it and um, 
soak it really well with that so that um, you don't get any shorts on it basically so just give it a good good douse with with the alcohol pat it clean I'd use a use a blower to, to um, dry it off a little bit there as well yep so now I get the contact cleaner and give that a good spray in the uh, all the display ports there and get uh, cotton wool bud over it um, clean the actual GPU portion of it a bit better and start uh, reassembling it um, so all the screws back in and um, then apply some uh, Yep, get all the screws back on. Apply some thermal paste, good good portion of thermal paste. Um, if I had thermal pads to replace those, I'd probably do those too. Here's a quick shot of what it looks like um, doing all the guards. So, after all that, uh, obviously I've got my work cut out for me. Um, so that one I just filmed is this one I haven't tested it yet. I'd sort of recommend um, waiting a day just for it to dry out. Um, don't want to sort of have all that liquid on it and then plug it straight in. Um, wait at least a day for it to dry out. Uh, these ones have not been cleaned yet. So what have I got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine still left to clean, um, which leaves two, four, five, six, seven. So seven are, are cleaned. These two still don't um, give any display, so they're kind of dead, really. Um, I might have another look at them at some point. Um, three of them booted up. Um, uh, there's a software side to it as well, because X mining cards, they often put um, custom ROMs onto them, so they are better at mining, but then they're not they're not good, <laughs> the drivers don't work for them for displaying for gaming. So I had to find the drivers for these, put it, load the driver on there. Um, I'll sort of go through how I did that in a second. But um, after I put the driver on, I then ran a bench test and they, they benched okay. So these ones, I've got three there that are, three there that are um, cleaned. So my, my checkbox here is basically cleaned, has a display, has the correct BIOS and then uh, completed a bench test. Um, one hour of, of heaven benchmark. Um, so there's three there that are cleaned and, and bench okay. These two here, um, I managed to get displaying even without cleaning. So these ones <laughs> have a display, correct BIOS and bench, but I still need to clean them up. They're pretty filthy. So five out of the 15 so far are uh, getting there. Um, this one I'm hope, hopeful for, the one I just filmed. Um, yeah, so hopefully that one's okay. Um, but these nine, still got to clean them and uh, I'd better get back to work, huh? Thanks guys, I'll give you an update. So I was going to have my uh, lovely face here and have my uh, desk buddy and all that sort of stuff, but um, you, the USB uh, Type-C on my computer decided to die. Uh, that's what my camera connects as so you're just gonna have to deal with uh, with this instead um, so I'm just gonna go through quickly the software side as I said mentioned earlier um, a lot of the mining cards have custom BIOS flash to them which um, does things like change the fan curves and uh, uh, they usually underclock the, the GPU and and uh, do memory some kind of memory stuff but Anyway, um, there's three pieces of, well, two pieces of software pretty much, and they're all from this Tech Power Up site. Um, the first one I'd suggest is uh, GPU-Z. Um, it gives you a good uh, understanding of what your graphics card is, and but the main thing here is that you can actually um, export your export your BIOS from a working card. Um, it also can show you, I've used this also to spot fake fake graphics cards. Uh, there's a few fake ones coming out of China, I don't know if they do that anymore. But um, basically, yeah, GPU-Z is good, good software to use. Um, the next one is called um, AMD or ATI Flash. Um, it's to flash the BIOS, the correct BIOS onto it. Um, there's a few different versions. The latest one um, does the more 
recent cards, you can flash some more recent cards. Uh, if you got like 6700 stuff like that, XTs, RX 6700s, had to do this on. Um, but because these are older, these are the older cards, I had to get an uh, older version, um, 2.93. Um, it's got a bunch of instructions here on how to flash the ROM, but you um, might be asking where you actually find the ROM. Um, and again, this tech power up site is, is where you find them. So uh, for the 570s, I was able to find this one here. Um, same with 580s, I was able to find the correct BIOS from this site as well. Um, just download them and then um, they download as ROM files and you can basically go through these steps to to flash them. It's it's pretty much uh, open a command prompt and um, identify the graphics card, uh, unlock the ROM, and then flash the the ROM file onto them. And after that, it's all good. All right, I'll get back to the uh, get back to the cleaning. All right, guys. So I've finished cleaning, finished testing um, all these cards. So the verdict um, is out of the fifteen. Um, five of them are pretty much dead, so um, either didn't let the machine boot or no signal or overheating or that, all sorts of different problems going on with these. Um, so that leaves 10 that are uh, tested working. Um, still a little bit of work on these I have to do, like um, some of them the fans are a bit loud so I might actually just swap, swap the shroud over. Um, hopefully that works. So this is sort of a, a cautionary tale, I suppose. Um, if you're going to buy a mining card, just be aware of the uh, issues that you might face. And these ones are probably the worst of the bunch, really, that you could... They have every single issue you could get from a mining card. Um, like, like one in three are dead, very filthy, dirty, lots of corrosion, wrong BIOS, all that stuff is... Um, what you can expect from buying X mining cards. Uh, I hope you liked the like the video. Um, make sure to hit subscribe and like on this video it really helps. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.